Stay away from my daughter. I don't want to see you anywhere close to her or my vicinity. From the office, you will see my father, right? Mm, depends. My schedule today is really tight, but I'll try. Okay? No, babe, don't say that. Father will be really angry if you don't show up today. He specifically asked that you should see him. It's very important. I know, but today I've got loads and loads of meetings. If I finish in time before I get back home, I will stop by and see him, but... Hey, what is it? Don't be like what that. What do you mean, what is it? It's our marriage you're talking about here. You have to pay attention to it. Okay, okay, it's fine. I will go and see your father, okay? Can you smile now? Yeah, that's why I love you. <laughs> I love you too, babe. You're right. Please try and go see my father. I will. You good? You're right. All right. Bye. 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 Good to see you. How's your day? It was crazy. You won't believe I just finished my last meeting about 30 minutes ago. Mm. Thank God for today. There's no traffic. I'll just still be stuck, but yeah. Right now, I just want to, you know, kick back, relax, eat something, take a shower, and rest. Yeah. <laughs> Was that all for today? I mean, it was for the day? Is that all? Yeah, pretty much. What? Babe, what, what's wrong? Going to serve dinner downstairs. Babe, babe, come on. You're upset about something. Tell me, what's, what's wrong? You were supposed to see my father today. Were you not? Oh. I, babe, I am sorry. I forgot. You forgot because it wasn't that important. No, don't talk. That. Don't. I, I, I hope he's in. Babe, Becky! 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 You know, babe, I've really been thinking on how best to make this our marriage work without issues. So, uh, the thought of making a blueprint came to my mind. So, I had to make one for us. I would want you to go through it. I mean, I think this, um, contains some guidelines that would make us, you know, understand each other, follow some rules and regulations, so that um, we will have problems, babes. You know, just go through it and tell me what you feel about it. Babe, it is a marriage we are talking about, our marriage, not some job that should have strict rules and regulations. Yes, babes, it's our marriage. That is why we need to work on it. Why do you think all these companies and organizations go higher and make profits? That's because they have blueprints that works for them. You are a businessman. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're not wrong, but... But a... what, my love? I think we should adopt this mechanism. I mean, babes, we need this blueprint. Let's, let's just work with it. We know our do's and don'ts. You know your role to play as the man. I know the role I should play as the woman. I mean, we wouldn't have to build any unrealistic expectations, my love. Um, I, I... Listen, babes. 
you really have to agree with me. That's what I want. Just tell me you're fine with it. And boom, we go. Uh, babe, I, I get this, but like I said earlier, it is our marriage. And you went ahead to do this. Don't you think I should have some say in this? Because basically what you're doing is running the entire marriage on your own terms. No, baby. Where love is involved, what do you mean my own terms? Baby, you love me. I love you. You are me. I am you. What I want should be what you want. Oh, are you trying to tell me that you don't love me anymore? Is that what you're trying to tell me now? Mom, how can you say I don't love you anymore? Oh, if you love me, then let's do this, babe. Let's do this. Let's do this. I mean, our marriage will be better with this. Ah, uh, it's all wrong. Mm -hmm. Me? <laughs> let's do this, though. Oh. Hey, babe. Oh, my God, you're wasting so much time. God. I'm right always... behind you. I just need to make sure I'm spot on. So, how do I look? Of course, you look good. You're just going to meet my father. We are not getting married yet. I know, I know, but you know, I need to dress to impress. Well, Dress to impress. Mm -hmm. You're not going to impress my father with your looks. You have to impress him with your pocket. Really? Yes. Now, that is not funny. <laughs> Come on, darling. I was only joking with you. No, but that wasn't funny. I was joking. Sorry. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'll get that for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> Becky said you proposed to her, and she accepted. Yes, sir. Um, I would be very, very glad to spend the rest of my life with her. And I give you my word that I will do everything within my capacity to always make her happy for as long as we are married. Daddy, Justin is a very good man. He's from a responsible family. He has a good job. And he's so, so sweet. I think I'm very com I am very comfortable with him, not I think. I am okay with him. I promise you that if you give me a hand in marriage, I will not disappoint you. I will make her the happiest woman on earth. Hmm. That's all right. There is something I want to tell the both of you. Marriage is an adventure that requires a lot of wisdom for you to be able to build a solid and blissful home. There is someone, a friend of mine, that I want to refer you to. He is a marriage counselor. He is very intelligent when it comes to the issues of couples, dates, and marriage. But dad, <laughs> there's no need for that. Justin and I have a blueprint for our marriage. Yes, I mean, we have, we have brilliant ideas set out for our marriage. You're fine with that. We don't need any marriage counselor. We don't. <laughs> Honey, right? Yeah. yeah, we are good. Becky, marriage is not a job. And you don't treat it like a work project. That I know. But we have, we have set up plans on how to you know, run our marriage and we're good with that. Yes, we are. She, she's right. We, we have a blueprint of how our marriage is supposed to go and... If this marriage must take place, then both of you must see a marriage counselor. If you are not comfortable, see my friend, because it is against their professional ethics 
you have liberty to choose for yourselves another marriage counselor. But you must see somebody. I am not talking about a religious priest here or a reverend. I mean a professional and certified marriage counselor. You can take that as my own condition for this marriage to take place. Dad! You will do it. Justin? You will do it. Hey, come on. That's what the father wants, then you do it. Oh, babes, babes. Hey. Babes, you, you're just. You're just really annoying sometimes. Hey, hey. Why would you take my father's side? Why? I, I mean, you're not even married to me yet and you're taking his side already. Come on. I was just doing what was right. Okay, tell me. How was it right? How? What, what do we need a marriage counselor for? Exactly. We do not need a marriage counselor. We already have a blueprint of what we want our marriage to look like. So we're just doing it for your father's sake, and that's that. I don't even know why my father thinks he can control my life. He's been doing this ever since I was I was young. Even when I was single, he never allowed me to take a decision for myself. And now that I'm engaged to you, he still wants to control my life. Hey, 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 listen. It's just one day with the counselor. It's not going to hurt. After that, we get married and we have our lives together. Come on. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. oh. How sweet, tell me. Honey. Honey. I got a call from Mr. Jude that both of you need a marriage counselor. Am I right? Mm, that's exactly why we're here. So can we go straight into business already? Of course, of course. But before I proceed, I will want to ask a few questions. Tell me a bit about yourselves. How did you meet? There is nothing to talk about. I mean, the only thing you need to know right now is that Justin and I are so in love with each other. Like, we love each other so much, right, honey? Yes. And um, we have come up with something that works for us. That's a blueprint. And we're really comfortable with that. So we're good. Well, from what you just said, I can infer that you are in love. Very much in love with each other. And to tell you the truth, this setup was done by my father. So let's just make things easier for everyone here. And uh, go, because there is no problem. We're good. I understand your current state of mind, Miss Becky. But I will advise you to calm down, okay? Let's take this particular issue one step at a time. You see, the essence of marriage counseling it's not to help marriages last, but it's also aimed at helping married and intending couples do the proper things. You made mention of the fact that you developed a blueprint for your marriage. As a professional who has been in this field for a very long time, I must advise that having a premarital agreement is inimical because it's not enforceable as a matter of fact, it's an early indication that you expect your marriage to crash. Okay. Um, let me call you right there. Okay? How much will it cost? I don't understand. Look, um, we all leave him as um, my father you know, insists. Okay? I'm a very busy person. I do not have this time. Mr. Justin, you are about getting married. Certain things shouldn't be compromised. Did you listen to my wife? We have a model that works for us. Carefully thought of. I'm sure you as a family man, you have your ways. It's your family. 
So what gives you the right to sit there and tell us how to live our lives? I beg your pardon, Mr. Justin. Do not insult my years of hard work and studies. You're crossing the line, and I won't take it. And it's easier to look at down. We don't Okay. Mr. Justin, I don't need your bribe. Okay? As a matter of fact, I find it very insulting. Please, can you calm down? We're, no one is talking about bribe here. It was just a token. Call it whatever you like. I'm not interested. The cancelling is for your own good. If you don't want it, I think it's time to leave my office. Oh, so please. It hasn't gotten to that. I don't understand it. Because of relationship, it gets to buy you all that. Honey? No. I think we overreacted with our words towards the counselor. He was being nice to us, but we, we spoke to him rudely. That's not nice. I was just walked up. That's it, I was walked up. I think we should just go back and apologize to him before he calls Dad and tells him. Nah, nah, we don't need to do that, okay? We don't. I doubt it that he will call your dad to say anything. And even if he does, I don't care. Listen to me. No matter what your father does, it's not going to stop me from marrying you. Okay?
something special going on that I don't know about. What's happening? <laughs> what? Hey, what's going on? Why are you crying? Babe. I spent all the day in the kitchen making something delicious, something really nice for us to celebrate our anniversary. All I just needed was for you to show up. But no, you didn't. What is this? What is this? What is this nonsense, Justin? What? For crying out loud, this is our first marriage anniversary. Our first wedding anniversary. Who forgets their first wedding anniversary? Who does that? Who? I, I am sorry. That, there is no excuse for me. I, I am really sorry. I forgot. I, I, I got caught up with work. Work, work, work. work. It's work. It's work, yeah, I know it's all about work, 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 and work. It has absolutely nothing to do with me. I am never your priority. Oh, this marriage is not important to you. You don't love me. You don't. Oh, don't talk like this. I love you. I really do. You know I love you. I, I care about our marriage. I care about you. Listen, no excuses. I am really sorry. I promise I will make... Don't, uh, don't, don't, please. Just don't, don't. Justin, do not make promises that you will never fulfill. Don't. Don't, don't, don't talk don't. about this. Babe, I, I promise I will make it up to you and it will never happen again. I promise. Justin. Justin! We have laid out rules for our marriage. Forgetting about birthdays and anniversaries was endlessly talked about. It was talked about for crying out loud. It was written in our blueprint. So all this charade, all this nonsense is, is just brown and ash. So don't tell me that rubbish, it's not an option. Get away. breakfast for us. Sorry, I'm not hungry. Babe, babe, babe. Look. Look, I, I'm really sorry, okay? Please, I, I promise it will never repeat itself. Please forgive me. I'm begging you. Please, I, I, and I promise to do whatever it is you want me to do. I want nothing from you. The only thing I want is for you to fulfill your own part of what we agreed on before we got married. Play your role, Justin, and let me play mine. Yesterday was your first wedding anniversary. And I am happy for the both of you. You know, it is really a great thing when you see couples of these days doing everything they can to keep their marriage going. I mean, with the rate of divorce in our society today, it is hard to predict that a marriage will last or survive the first year. I am a man of my words, just like I promised you that on the first anniversary of your marriage, 
you will get 50% of my entire world. Come on, Daddy. You are doing enough already. I mean, you don't have to stress it. You deserve it. Oh. And here I am to fulfill that. Daddy, you're kidding me. <clears throat> this envelope contains document of 50% of my entire world. Dad? For me? Yes. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, just stop by my office to complete the necessary paperwork. Oh, Daddy! Thank what would so I have much, done sir. without you? Thank you so much. Honey. I don't know. Oh, thank you thank so much. You. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bye -bye. Thank you, Daddy. Swear it. Thank you, sir. Good. You're truly a man of your word. <laughs> oh, oh, Daddy. Your father is a really kind man. I'm happy he's my in-law. I hope you feel the same way about you. Oh, babe. I thought you said you've forgiven me. Yeah, forgiving you does not mean I've forgotten. Come on. It's one mistake. People make mistakes. I am not perfect, okay? But don't give me the impression that I'm going to suffer for this mistake for the rest of my life in this marriage. I don't even like fighting with you. It doesn't go that well with me each time you do it. You just have to behave yourself and perform your husbandly duties. Mm -hmm. I don't like well. fighting with you too. <laughs> Um, you didn't get the spices from the store. Oh, that. I'm so sorry, baby. I forgot. But I need them to cook. Why don't you go get it if it's really important? I beg your pardon? I'm cooking. So? Babe, you need the spices to cook. Drive down the road. There's a store there, you can get the spices from there. What would you be doing? Watching TV? Baby, I don't know why you're complaining. This is what we agreed on. It is your turn to cook this week. So why, why this? I am not complaining. I am simply asking my wife to help me. Oh, goodness. Becky. If you do not need those spices to cook, you might as well leave them, okay? I don't have strength. 
I'm so tired. I need to rest. this place so unkept? Huh? What is the... What nonsense? What do we call this? Is it that Justin has forgotten about the blueprint or what? Is he actually expecting me to take out this after he must have finished eating, right? Well, agreement is agreement. I'm going to leave this right here. He would come back and take it out himself. Rubbish. Okay. What? I mean... You've been acting so strange since last night. Is there anything bothering you? Nothing is. I just need to get to work now. Come on, babe. I know you. If there is something you want to talk about, just go ahead. Oh, come on, babe. We can actually talk about this if there is something that you need to talk about. You take care of yourself. I'm sorry to bother you. I've been standing here for some time and my cabman, I don't know, he's delaying me. I don't know if you can actually give me a lift to the roundabout there. Please. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you do? I work with an insurance company. Okay, that's nice. It keeps me busy for now, but um, I'm a student actually. Mm, impressive. Yeah. yeah. Studying and schooling at the same time. That's, that's commendable. You must be very hard working. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Oh. So what are you studying in school? Mass communication and media technology. Great. Yeah. Um, by the way, my name is Kate. What about you? Justin. Oh, nice to meet you, Justin. Nice to meet you, too. And thanks for the ride. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah.
प्रॉब्लम कैन यू प्लीज टॉक टू मी इज देयर समथिंग बॉडरिंग यू Babe, I just asked you a question, and you're not saying anything. Is there something bothering you? Is there something bothering me? Really? Becky wants to know if something is bothering me. All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, my dear wife, what is bothering me. Okay, you care to listen, right? I get up every day. I leave this house to go to work, to strive, to provide for this house as the man that I am. Not to mention dealing with the crazy traffic in this city, and then I come back home with a nasty headache to add to that. I try to prepare my darling wife a meal because I care about her. Now I ask her to go down the road to get me spices. And what did you do? Tell me, what did you do? Justin, thank hey goodness. You know what, Justin? You're just being unreasonable. Yes, you are. Before we got into this marriage, we made a blueprint and we agreed to it. You and I agreed to it. You said you're going to make dinner when it is your own turn, and we shared our responsibilities. So why are you shouting? Why are you? Why are you blabbing? Why am I blabbing? Really? Why am I blabbing? Fine, we agreed to some blueprints that you created. But what's wrong with helping? What's wrong? But I was tired. I was tired. I had to rest. Oh, really? Besides, I never solicited for your help during my own time. Oh, great! Since it is fine for both of us to live in this house as a couple and strangers at the same time, do not, I repeat, do not ask what's bothering me the next time you see me acting up. What has gotten into him? Huh? What is gotten into him? Tell me you were coming. If you had picked your call when I called yesterday, you would have known that I was coming. Oh, I'm sorry, I was in a meeting. I was going to call back and I forgot. Well, it's good to see you. Justin, what is the meaning of this? Why are you wearing an apron? Mom, I'm cooking. What does it look like? Cooking? How? Where is Becky? Mom, relax. You just got here. Why not settle in? Let me offer you a glass of water. Keep your glass of water to yourself, Justin. Where is Becky? Where is Becky? Oh, Becky! Oh my God. Mom, you're here. You're, you, I didn't know you were coming. No, I was there. How would you know that I was coming when you hardly called me on the phone? Come on, Mom. You are here, chatting and watching videos. And my son is there in the kitchen, cooking. Why is that? <laughs> Mom, it's his turn to cook. I don't understand. I beg your pardon? Mom, in this house, everyone gets a chance to spend the time in the kitchen. <laughs> And my husband 
loves to cook. You see, it's not a problem. I don't understand. <laughs> well, don't you understand, mommy? Hey. hey, I see my two favorite girls are getting along just fine. Lunch is served. What? I want to see both of you downstairs. Can somebody tell me what is going on here? Is this what you call marriage? Where the husband gets to cook and the wife does absolutely nothing. Justin, tell me, is this how you chose to run your boat? Um, Mom, it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, gone are the days when we expect women to do all the cooking. Besides, last I checked, women don't do all the Shut eating. Shut up your mouth. Gone are the days when women cook the food. Nya, 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 nya. What was she doing when I came in? She was just lying down on the bed, scrolling to her phone. But mom, I was just trying to... I'm still talking. I know you all want to sound, what do you call it again on internet? Work. You want to sound you are more learned and exposed than we are parents. But you are wrong. Yes. Even if you want to cook, your wife should be there helping you out. It's not as if she was upstairs taking care of a child. I've asked you several times on the phone. Have you gone to see a doctor? Why haven't Becky taken him? Have you tried to find out if it's some medical issues that can be sorted out? But no, all you keep telling me is that you are not yet ready to have babies. And that you're, you, you are still in your early years of marriage and it's your blueprint. What the heck? Mom, you need to understand. Don't interrupt me. There are some things that are not acceptable. Marriage is not boyfriend, girlfriend, jamboree. You might have a blueprint that you think works for you. But there are things that are norms and that even exist before your mother's mothers. It's the duty of the wife to cook for the husband. And in cases whereby the wife works or she's ill or nursing a baby, the husband can help out or even get a, a, a maid. Mom, you seem not to understand. Justin here isn't complaining. Why will he complain? Does he have a choice? You've caged him. Excuse me? Mother, you have to mind your choice of words. Why would you say that to me? Are you talking back at me? You insulted me first. Why would you say I caged my husband? Justin, you are here and your wife is talking back at me. Honey, listen, you have to talk to your mother. I mean, we've had this sorted out. There was an agreement. Remember? There is a blueprint and we're working with that. Please talk to her. Let her understand. Um, Mom, I have a boardroom meeting presentation tomorrow. And I'd like to go inside, prep and rest. Justin! I wonder why she's here. We made it clear that we do not want any family interference in our marriage. It's in the blueprint. Remember? Honey, I don't know why you're, you're keeping mute. I think it's high time you spoke to your mom. Tell her that we have a model that works for us. This is our marriage and no one else's. I mean, no one should come in here and tell us how to run our home. It's not done. It's not. I hope 
I seriously hope you say the same thing when your father visits. Come on, honey. My father does not disturb our marriage. Uh -huh. He doesn't control us. Oh, come off it. Your father is a control freak. Why would you say a thing like that? I mean, how do you call my father a freak? And how dare you ask why my mother shows up at her son's house? It's practically a house. No, honey. That is where you got it all wrong. It is not her house. It is our house. Our marriage. Our lives. We should be in charge of that. Don't want you come tell us what to do. We stated all these before marriage, and you know it. Oh, yes, we did. And in that same blueprint, we stated that soon after our first year anniversary, we start having babies. Uh, yes. And I have stopped taking those contraceptives. I have. Yes, you have. I'm out. I know you are eager to drop me off at home. Mom, I've told you before, myself and Becky, we do not want anyone interfering in our marriage. So, telling my son to stop being a footmat for the wife to step on has become interfering, right? Yes, Mom, that's exactly what it is. If I keep taking advice from you and Becky keeps taking advice from our own parents and relatives and all, it will lead to disaster. Things like this are exactly the reason many marriages collapse. You will always have something to say. <laughs> Mom, we're all right. We're fine. But there is just something in that your stupid blueprint that I don't like. You know, all this premarital affair, it doesn't work. Give me a grandchild. If you don't want to look after your child, send the child over to me and continue living your single but married life. Yes? Mom, I know you love me too much. I love you too. It's okay. Give me a grandchild. But I say you love me first. Not until you give me a grandchild. <laughs> oh. I am beginning to get worried. My mother-in-law is trying to pressure me out of the plan. You don't understand. It is also very difficult for me. It is. You, you have no idea. L listen, 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 listen to me. To tell you the truth, I am tired of taking those pills. I am tired. If I continue like this, I might end up harming myself and I don't want a thing like that. Yes. Le okay, fine. Let's, we have to meet up. We have to meet up this weekend and talk about this. We have to come up with a better plan. Have a nice day. If I may ask, Mr. Justin, are you here for a session? No, really. I just want to talk about something. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, it's about my marriage. It has gotten to a point I don't know what to do anymore. Myself and my wife, we 
We can't have a normal conversation anymore. Everything ends up escalating into one fight or a quarrel. She seems to have an opinion about everything. Never trying to make the marriage work. Well, Mr. Justin, there is absolutely nothing wrong in booking for sessions. But if you must do that, it has to be with your wife. I doubt it's you who want to come alone. Well, there is nothing I can do about it. The situation at hand is a precarious one, and we just have to be very careful in handling it. The situation can be likened to a broken chair. When you fix one and leave the other, the moment you place an object on it, the bad one drags the good one along with it, and everything collapses. Marriage counseling is for both couple, not for one. And I advise you to do something about it. You must act fast before everything cascades. Babe, are you searching for something? No, I'm just putting one or two together. Oh, okay. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. I want to go see a cousin of mine. Most probably I'm going to spend the weekend there. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I was going to tell you before you leave for work tomorrow morning. Have you gone mad? Are you insulting me? What is wrong with you? Tell me, Becky, what is wrong with you? And what is this nonsense about spending the weekend at your cousin's? How do you come up with these things and not consult me about them? How? Why are you yelling? No, no, Justin, tell me, why, why exactly are you yelling at me? For crying out loud, I am going to see a cousin of mine. Not that I'm going to sleep in some man's house. A cousin. You are the most insensitive woman ever. Excuse me? Yes! You heard me right. I am your husband. But it's like you, you lead this marriage. You just do whatever pleases you and I have to follow. Have you forgotten? In section 4, article 1 of our... To hell with the blueprint! To hell with it! To hell with the blueprint? What is wrong with you? I mean, what has come over you? Justin, have you forgotten that we both agreed that sometimes we have to go some places and unwind? Process things and free our minds. It. What is wrong with you? What is it? Is it this? Is it this rubbish? This rubbish that is giving you the balls to think you can do anything in this marriage and get away with it? Is it? Justin, you are overreacting and I don't like it. I am overreacting. I only said a few words. I am overreacting. You want to see overreacting? I will show you overreacting. I will what? show you overreacting. To hell with that blueprint. I am your husband. And as long as you remain my wife, you are going to perform your duties. Justin! You think it's like tearing the papers? Is that what you think? What is wrong with this man? Oh, you think it's like tearing the papers, right? Well, we have agreed to this. And it stands. Whether you like it or not. Rubbish. Are you screaming at me? Like I've done something to you. What nonsense is that? Fuck! Justin! Honey? Honey? Where is he? Babe! 
Babe! Why is he behaving like a child? She's practically driving me crazy. She doesn't listen to me. It's like I'm blabbing. Like, just talk, talk, talk. When you're done, you stop. Mr. Justin, I understand how you feel. But I must be very sincere. The only way this impasse can be resolved is by having a proper session with you and your wife. Okay? Um, I will not be sleeping over, please. Justin and I are not in good terms right now. And I do not want to make him more angry than he already is. I'll be with you shortly. Right. going to continue like this? I mean, for how long? Come on, Justin. Okay, fine. If I have offended you, I am sorry. Forgive me. Am I forgiven? In your hearts of hearts, do you really think this marriage is working? Are you already tired of it? I asked a simple question. And <laughs> yes, it was working when we both followed our model. Our leader rules. It was working. It was. So are you saying you're not allowed to be expressive? When you offend me, I'm not allowed to talk about it. I never said so. But I just think um, we have to follow the blue. Good night. Kate, how are you? Yeah, it's been a long time. Oh, what? You like to hang out? Okay. Send me your location, I'll pick you up. All right.
I had a good time. Thank you. I did too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. So, um, when do you return to school? Um, in a few weeks. Okay, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, mm. what? Mm. Mm. What are you doing? I, I, I thought you liked me. Oh, no, no, um, Kate, you are a beautiful girl, no doubt, but I'm married and this ring says that. I, I've never hidden the fact that I'm married to you before. I just wanted us to be friends. That's it. Friends? Friends, what nonsense. Just friends. Why did you say a young man and a lady become just friends? Um, I I think you misunderstood. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. It's clear enough. Okay, um You know what? Sorry, but no, there is a misunderstanding. Excuse me, Justin. I don't understand you like <laughs> I don't know what's what's wrong with you. Don't you like me enough, or do you think I'm some girl you just pick on the road and all and you know, to have fun with? After all, you decided to give me a lift, and then you asked for like a lunch date and all, and now you're trying to turn me down. Just admit it, you're weak. You're a weak man. Yes. After all, we have a lot of married men who have side chicks. It's, I'm I'm serious. Like I'm a hot babe now. Look at me. What's wrong with you? So please, the next time you're not able to finish what you started, don't even come to me. Excuse me, Mr. Jones. You know I hate guessing. Besides, you're filled with surprises. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. <laughs> I love you too, babe. I don't really want to use this medium to apologize. No, 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 no. Don't apologize. It's okay. I forgive you, okay? It's fine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, well, my baby's kicking already. What are you saying? Yeah. It's still a fetus. It doesn't kick. No, no, no. It's that's not, not that's your own business. It's my little baby girl. Okay, oh. she knows her father is right here with her, so she's responding. She's she's calling out to me. You want a girl? Of course, I want a little princess as beautiful as a mother. But I want a guy. Uh, no, no. I want a boy. We're having a princess. <laughs> Thank you so much, babe. Thank you for making me the happiest man on earth. <laughs> so, what would you like to do tonight? Massage. Kate? What are you talking about? Kate, I, I, I am not understanding what you're saying right now.
Okay, okay, you know what? You need to stop right there. I told you, I am married. I have a wife. I am not interested in dating you. Hanging out with you is totally different from dating you, okay? Look, I hope I am not going to regret ever giving you a lift. Okay, you know what? You need to end this call right now because I am not interested in... What have I gotten myself into? Did you sleep well? What could have possibly gone wrong with you by my side? Mm -hmm. mm. I'll set the table. No, 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 no. It's fine. You don't have to do anything anymore. Come on, baby. And why is that? Why? It's because, my beautiful angel, you <laughs> are carrying a baby. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Right about now, you want to start giving me premium treatment? No, 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 not premium, baby. Pro Max. Wow. Pro Max. You are the bomb, baby. <laughs> All right. I just wish for you to surprise me with your meal. Of course. You just <laughs> sit tight and wait for me. All right, baby? Okay. All right. Take, Take it easy. Okay. Take it easy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Yeah, morning. Who is this with you? Um, he's going to be our new house help. He will take care of every single tour in the house. Oh, come on, baby. You know that. No, no, look. I want you to focus on taking care of you and the baby. Yeah? I want you to look at the baby. You are such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Um, right. Um, okay. Um, you know, just sit. I'll, I'll take you to the quarters in, oh. in a bit. Uh, yes, give me a minute. Give me a second. Um, Mr. You said your name is what? I lie. I'm done with your laundry. Okay, good. Oh, okay. So, is there anything that you want me to do for you again? Oh, come on, Aloy. You've been working since morning. Don't you get tired? Oh. <laughs> Sir, I don't get tired. Sir, listen, don't look at my body and think that, oh, I'm a hard ball, I'm a dada B person. No, I'll be street person. I'll be street. See, I can walk from Enugu to Asaba. I'm telling you. My fans will be telling me, ha, look at that 70 years old boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you go to my village, all the village people, you know me. My guy name is Andy, aka Alone Boy. I'm telling you, I don't get tired. <laughs> I, I don't get tired. Wait, wait. What? What's going on? Honey, 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 you need to see what happened today on the road. Like, I'm so angry right now. Is everything okay? Babe, 
you need to have seen what happened to your wife. You almost killed me! What? Those useless, reckless drivers on the way! One of them almost ran into me. Forbid! Are you, are you hurt? I am okay, nothing is wrong with me, but I do not find base. I think it's high time you got me a driver. Maybe I need a driver to be taking me around before they kill me. It's alright, it's okay. But I was actually thinking in that line, especially because of your condition. Yes! I don't want you to sit all the time, so good for you and the baby. Get your driver. Very, 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 very good. Very, very good. Sir, it's very good that you've taken that action upon yourself because, as beautiful as Madame is, Madame should be driving in on you. Somebody will be driving. Shut. Excuse me. Hello. Shut, shut, shut up. What's the meaning of this nonsense? What? what right do you have to interfere when I'm talking to my husband? Huh? Have you lost your mind? Are you done with the chores in the house? Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Now get yourself inside and get busy. Get out. Rubbish. Shame. Babe, just let me be. Yeah, I, 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 know what, I know what I suffered today. That was totally unnecessary. Oh. Baby, that was necessary. I mean, why would, he, why would he interfere when I'm talking to my husband? It's because of the freedom you're giving to him in this house. A common cleaner? Come on, babes. It's not right. You know, you look so cute when you're upset. Baby, I'm not happy. I just need a driver. I, know, I, know, I, need, I need a driver. That's fine. That's fine. Look, that is sorted. We're going to get you a driver. It's not a problem. Okay, that's fine. Since you have approved, uh, I have one, actually. Oh, really? You have someone already? Yes, he worked for my father. Okay, now I'm worried. If he worked for your father, then why did your father let him go? Not like he... He sacked him or he was relieved of his job. Or just that um, he had issues at home. He needed to go home and sort family problems. And my father couldn't wait. He, he now got another person to drive, drive him that time. But tell you the truth, babes. Godwin is a good, detailed, diligent driver. He's very good, I'm telling you. You would like him. Yes, honey, come on. You know, I need someone I'm very familiar with. This person is supposed to be taking me around town, you know. So I need someone I'm comfortable with, baby. Okay, okay. Mm, yes. yes. Don and Dosta. Maybe you should give him a call and we'll have a conversation. Just with. immediately. All right. <laughs> I'll call him. Oh. I'll just go inside and do that. Understand. I was about calling you. He wants you to come over. Oh, please, can you just stop that already? What you should be thinking right now is how to come over and see him first. Stop asking questions like a child. What? What are you saying? Wait, wait. You think this offer? will be open to your next week. You told me you wanted an avenue to get very close to me. And now I have come up with this plan. The best thing you should do for yourself is to find a way and come here. Do not ruin it for me. Don't. Listen, this is the only trump card I have to get you into this house. Nothing more. Do you get that? You don't have to worry yourself. Besides, Father hardly visits. And I know how to sort things out when it comes to my father. So don't bother yourself, okay? All right then, better. What? Nothing. How dare you? How dare you come into my room without telling me? Are you mad? <laughs> hey, hey, wait. I hope you haven't been listening to my conversation. No, ma, no, I was not listening to anything, no. My, you know, because of the accident you were uh, nearly got, you know, you are very, very uh, angry, you know, celebrate grace. Uh, I, I didn't hear anything. What? Huh? Are you a clown? No, no, ma. No, take this and get out. Take this and get out of my room. Get out. Get out, food gods. Ah. Hey. Is this guy mad or something? Sina, Sina, can you make 
μια σημα. Να βάζει, να βά. Κάιο με μια σημα. Σημα, σημα. Α, αδίσω. Τι βίντεο είναι αυτό, δεν τα είδα. Α, γράμμα να βάζει, να βάζει. Τι βίντεο. Εί. Τι με δεσάμε, κουάν φωτάσιο. Πα, πα. Ω, δεν τα είδα. Κουκρε, κουκρε, κουκρε. Kukre kukre wangang, bayi tu hala abis tu kita mau baby ah, wang jumping energy, jumping energy. What are you doing? Ma, please, I'm I'm. Will you shut up? Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? What? You mean what? You've been doing this particular thing since morning. You don't have any other chores to do in this house, right? What rubbish is this? Listen, I am warning you for the very last time. What this is it? Man? What is what? You just got in here and you're asking me what is it? Without even asking me what he has done. What difference will it make anyways? Becky. I see what I with you get a more baby. Hey, cook it, cook it, wow, cook it, cook it, wow, wow. Why do you like to overwork yourself? Why? Over nothing. Over nothing? And what do you mean by that? Overwork myself? I mean, did you just say that to me? Because of that idiot? What has that boy done to you? I mean, what has he charmed you with that you now take sides with a common cleaner to your wife? A house help! Uh, uh, look, can we please not go there? Go where? Go where exactly? I mean, this argument, unnecessary drama. Excuse me? Becky, I thought we've grown past. We haven't, obviously. Because you always think I'm wrong. I won't take that. Justin, I won't. Like, seriously? You aren't going to say anything to me? What do you want me to say? Babe, can we just for one day, you know, go through a whole day without quarreling or having to, you know... It is all your fault. Do the right thing. You are the man in this house. The truth, of course, is always bitter. Do the right thing, Justin. I am your wife. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, ma. You're welcome. Have, you. have a seat. Ah, honey, this is Godwin, the guy I told you about. Okay. My wife says you're an experienced driver. Yes, sir. I really don't need much. Look, if she trusts you enough to drive her around town, then that's fine by me. Honey, do you do you like him? It's not a question of liking. You trust him enough, so. No, that's of course. Fine. He's he's really good. Okay, let me quickly show him to the boys' quarters. Wait. Wait. Better Lloyd do that. Is that <laughs> sorry, honey? Aloy, Aloy, <gasps> come here, please. Um, please, uh, quickly take um Godwin. 
He's my new driver. So I want you to take him to the boys' quarters. Make sure he's comfortable. Okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Hi. Follow no road. Follow no road. Follow me. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to go to your house. Hey, babe. Hi, honey. Oh. Look at my beautiful angel. Mm. Yeah. I'm off to work right now, and um, I want you to take good care of you, and of course, my baby. You don't have a problem. All right. So. All right. Mm. staring at me like that. What exactly are you waiting for? Come, come to mama. What are you doing? What this you... is your matrimonial bedroom. Mm -hmm. What are you so... Oh, please come off it. This is my house and everything here is under my control. Besides, my husband has gone out and no one is coming in here. Come to me, okay? Oh. I won't feel comfortable making love to you in your husband's bedroom. Oh, if you make me feel like a slave, I want to feel like a man that I am. Come on, Vich, you are a man. I mean, if you aren't a man, I wouldn't have Baking. left my husband. Thank you, hold on. Why don't you come to my father? I think you have a point there, but still, I just want to have. Oh, come on. Thank you. Hold on. Listen. Send Aloy out. You are very smart. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll see you. All right. Okay? I'll wait for you. Aloy? Aloy, have this. Take a very good look at everything written there. Go to the market. Buy everything written on that paper. Do not omit any. Okay? Uh, um, excuse me. Uh, please, uh, whatever is on the list, we already have it inside the storeroom. We have it. Oh. I don't know. This is God's money. That's why sometimes you just want to use the money. Whatever is in on the list now. We have it inside the store. Now you have given me another money to go and buy the same thing. No, tell, tell me, no, 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 did you do with that? No, did you do with this? <clears throat> because you, you see money, you just waste money. I am boy, yeah, let me pay. I am boy, you pay. I am boy and I be. 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 I am boy and I be.
willkommen. So early. I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I have to go. No, 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 go, go, go. Don't okay, wait. If you leave here, he's going to see you. What if he gets into the house and doesn't see me? Of course, you think that you stepped out. Are you bound to stay at home for the rest of your life? I am not bound to stay indoors for the rest of my life. But come to think of it, you are my driver and you're in here. How can I be out? Besides, the guy is outside. In the compound, he would see it. It's, 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 okay, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, I know you're scared. Calm down. You're going to complicate a lot of things now. If you leave here, he's going to see you. And what are you going to tell him? Listen, it's better he sees me coming out from this room than see me in your room, please. Did you employ Godwin? Dad? Did you invite Godwin into your life? Uh, the, 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 I... Oh, uh, you are worthless. You are a worthless girl. That I can explain, please. I succeeded in removing that criminal from your life and you went and brought him back. Dad, I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault. You even have the God. To have an affair with him under your husband's roof. I brought him back because I love him. He's the only man I've ever loved. That's the truth. I can't deny it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to. I'm sorry. Do you know the reason I fired Godwin? You think I fired him because he was in love with you? I fired him because he masterminded my kidnap attempt. Godwin is a notorious criminal. He is a wolf. When I found out, I got rid of him. I didn't tell you why, because I didn't want to hurt your feelings.
Stay away from my daughter. I don't want to see you anywhere close to her or my vicinity. Becky has no idea of what you have done. Let us leave it at that. I have every evidence of all the crimes you've committed against my family and I. Take this as the first and final warning from me. Else, Let's go for the day that I met you. You are all that I have ever asked for. Same here. The truth is that I can never ask for a better man. You are all that I've ever wished for. And I cannot wait to spend my forever with you. With me? Yes. But you know I can hardly cut off myself. No, don't talk about that. My father is very wealthy. His wealth can fend even for his fifth generation. Okay? So you don't have to bother. Oh, we're talking about your father's wealth here. And not yours. Yeah, but my father promised me something. He promised to give me half of his fortune on my first marriage anniversary. So we are made for life. Talk about all your rigs, the automobile assembling companies. My darling, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. We are good. If he refuses to give his consent, what about that? Honestly, I don't feel right with all of this. My lord. Your father doesn't want us to be together. Look at you making compromises. You're about marrying a man that you don't even know. Are you going to continue faking this for the rest of your life? What would you have me do? You don't have a job yet. And my father does not want our union. That is why I have come up with this plan. The blueprint. A marriage blueprint. With this, we can have not just only your father's money on your first wedding anniversary, but Justin's money when you divorce him. What? What is a marriage blueprint? <laughs> Justin, Dad, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me, I was, I was deceived. I was just deceived. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry, please. I never knew God with this disgrace. You have just ruined your marriage. I am so disappointed in you. Justin is a good man. Even at this point, he's still trying to protect whatever pride that is left in you. Any man in his shoes would have thrown you out like a shameless woman that you are. Just, 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 please, please.
But it's, it's something. So, you know, you know, ever since I came to this house, you've been treating me well. You've been giving me food to eat, and sometimes you give me small, small bonus. So, you, you're, you're a very good man, you know. So, if, if something is happening in, in this house and I don't say it, it is eating me up. Yeah. It's not like I want I want to break your home, but you know sometimes if something is happening and I don't say it. Hello, sir. What is it you want to say? Go ahead and say it. So it's like it's like Madame and Godwin, you no. Know? So it's like. You know, it's like, I don't... Um, Aloha? Yeah. You may leave. Yeah. Uh, it's not like I want to break your home. Or just sometimes I just want to share. You know? Yeah, sometimes, somebody will just stand outside and the person will say, I'm, 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 I'm just putting, putting what God has put in our sender. Putting what God has put in our together. This was all in game. Justin, please. You have done way too much. I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry, please. Babe, I know. I know I've hurt you. Forgive me. If not for anything, for the sake of our baby, please. Our baby? Yes. You know you can't fool me anymore. Oh. I know the truth about that. I'm the happiest man alive. That I am not having a baby with you because that would have been the greatest mistake ever. No, please, Justin! Just, Justin, don't, please. You know, it all makes sense to me. It does. Oh, oh, oh. The blueprint you came up with. That was your exit plan. A very comfortable one. <laughs> Smart. Well, Congratulations. Yeah. You have your exit. Mm -mm. No, please. Justin. Just. Oh. What have I done to myself? Oh. 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 Big man. Hey. Good evening. Please, what are you doing? 
I'm, I'm looking for my power bank. Your power bank? Yeah, yeah. Power, power bank. Oh, your phone is low. Oh. Are you by any way trying to steal Madame's parachute pants? No, no. So what are you doing, sir? It's my power bank. Wait, your, your phone is low. No, 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 no. What, what are you looking at? What are you looking for? Does. <laughs> In the course of conducting couples therapy for married and intending couples, I have always advised that love is not enough for a blissful marriage. That is why it's absolutely important to engage professionals like me who will guide you in order to avoid the pitfalls inherent in marriage. Now, what are those factors? First, what are your mutual expectations? And second, your living arrangements are important. Then, third, how do you handle the issue of parents and in-laws? Are you going to have children? And if yes, how many? How do you handle the issue of uh, erotic moments? And then, do you agree on issues around erotic moments together? Most importantly, how do you resolve heated conflicts? These are very thorny issues that must be given utmost consideration for a marriage to thrive. These are very serious issues. The moment you fail to put them into perspective, that moment, your marriage begins to fail. So, at all times, it's important to consult a marriage therapist so as to ensure that your marriage succeeds. Well, now I know better. Oh. Thank you very much, Professor. You're welcome. You know. 